guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Aze in the williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video yes guys so i'm starting off this video by saying a very big congratulations to amaka yes guys as she joins fina as brand ambassador of Rezari Skin Secrets. And we all will agree that Amaka skin is skinning for real. Like, it's really, really shining. Well done and a very big congratulations to Amaka. Maki Billions herself. Also, also, a very big congratulations to Fina the winner. Yes, guys, as she was announced yesterday as the latest brand ambassador for Speedy Weight Loss. Now, there has been a whole lot of confusion between Strictly Weight Loss and Speedy Weight Loss. And even myself, I remember when um, Khaled was signed to Strictly Weight Loss, I came here and I actually said Speedy Weight Loss and somebody had to correct me. So Speedy Weight Loss is so different from Strictly Weight Loss. Strictly Weight Loss has the likes of Doyin, the likes of Khaled as their brand ambassadors. Yes, guys. But Speedy Weight Loss has the likes of Ozo, Tatcha, Regina Daniels, Eya Bojo, and so, and now also Fina as their brand ambassador. Also, Dorothy is also signed to Speedy Weight Loss. Yes, guys. Now, also, Fina is hinting us that there's going to be more deals. Yes, as she posted this this morning and said, morning mood with full knowledge that more deals are on the way. Okay, Fina, we can't wait for all that. Now, talking about deals, right? So when Fina announced her endorsement deal with Speedy Weight Loss, like I told you earlier, there was a lot of confusions. Then some people decided, okay, let's drag Fina, um, saying that, oh, she signed with a weight loss company and all that. Then one um troll tweeted this and said, you mean a deal with one of the best makeup brands in Nigeria? Better manage your deal with earrings and co. So they were like bantering. This was a banter between this particular person and a Fina fan because they were berating Fina's deals. And this person was like, their fave has a better deal than, you know, um, Fina's deal. Saying that Fina is signing an endorsement deal with Yerin's and co, which got Yerin's attention. I mean, man was minding his business and now so straight bullets come meet him. Anyways, Yerin's quoted that tweet and said, endorsements are just low-key nine to five jobs not a sign of success the way you fans kill yourselves over it is absurd if you mean well for your fave gradually grow with them and allow them to pursue their part not stop being a brand influencer just so you all can have bragging rights and i agree with him 100 percent. for me i feel like endorsement deals are of course i mean they're making big money five million ten million and all that but having a career path having something a skill something you are good at aside from being a brand influencer or a brand endorsement ambassador whatever it is is key because that is the key to longevity yes you know you are an ambassador to all this company but what is your handwork what are you known for what puts food on your table when these brands are not coming that is it well done um earrings like i don't understand why people are looking down on these people maybe because they don't come out on social media to show off i mean Yarins is a tech guy. This guy literally just started his own tech company. You think it's easy? If it's easy, go try him. I don't understand all these classes these people are doing. It's just pissing me off. Anyways, away from all that, Groovy set the timeline on fire last night. <laughs> so just um hours after Fina announced her endorsement deal, then Groovy tweeted this and said, Halos. Um, uh, Twitter was set on fire. Everybody was trying to decode. Who is it? Some people were asking, oh, is he talking about beauty? Is he talking about Fina? Oh, he has finally broken up with Fina. Oh, he's now going back to Chumsy. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You people should just calm down. Groovy, I saw his Insta story. He was obviously in the studio. And Groovy is a Drake fan. This her loss is an album title and it's a Drake is from Drake. So I don't understand why people are really meaning into it. Like this is how people show themselves. Like the way people that are saying, oh, they are not even shippers are catching straight bullets on top of this team is really funny. So true, true. When I want Groovy for your faith, that is it. <laughs> anyway, 
days away from all that. Let's thank God though for Daniela because she almost drowned in the bathtub this morning. Yes, in as much as she put this out like you know, like it's a joke. It's not a joke. People die because of, you know, um, bathroom kind of accidents like this. She tweeted this and said, good morning, guys. I just wanted to let you know that I almost drowned in the shower, but I'm fine now. Like she just put it out casually. Sweetheart, we thank God for your life because this is not a casual something. Now, away from that, Erica has some things to clear to some people. She said, just to be clear, every fan base internationally across the French industries have a symbol. No one can simply assume mine is theirs. It's common sense unless you are looking for drama. Who is looking for Erica's drama? Who is looking for the star girl drama? go. Be careful. Mind yourself. You don't want drama with the elites. You don't want drama with Star Girl herself. But I'm really interested. I really want to know the backstory on this. What exactly is going on? Like for Erica to come out and tweet this, she's not one to come out to tweet stuff just for clout. So let's see what exactly is going on. Hopefully she will spill. Now away from all that, Erica is not the only one that has got something to get off her chest. Cheesy, our very own rider, the best rider rider ever in the big brother niger history yes guys has got some things to you know get off his chest too now you all know cheesy went back to his like his workplace and all that that was yesterday or two days ago well he put this out and said sad but i be jjc for this lego so even person way they close to you go rip you without remorse and they tell you how much more person we no sabi you at all zero trust let's be guided ah who is this person? What exactly is happening? Like, can they give us a backstory to all this? Because it's really somehow for Cheesy to actually come out, we all know, again, Cheesy is not that person that does stuff for clout, right? For Cheesy to come out and tweet this, it's either he's giving advice, but this doesn't sound like an advice. This sounds like personal. I just hope whatever it is gets resolved because obviously this has nothing to do with any Big Brother Niger housemates. I think I feel this has got to do with his own people. I don't know. Maybe I don't know his circle or something like that. So whichever one, Sha, I'm still hoping and praying that everything will be fine and everybody will be fine last, last. On that note, I'd like to say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new videos. Yo, until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Nee Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.